Hello, hope you guys are doing well. I'm having my coffee, my Hey Babe coffee cup. <laughs> I got that from Fred Meyer, I think, on clearance for like $2. And now I unironically love it. I love it. Reminds me of that. Oh, what's her name? She does all the characters. She's super funny. And she has this one who's, you know, gonna be dumped that night or something like that. Beba. 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 I don't know what tampons to get. Can you get them for me, please? So I'm going to finish this coffee and then I'm going to work out. I'm doing just a short full body workout. Probably this Caroline Gervin one. I like some of her stuff. She is so dang fit. It's honestly my biggest problem with her stuff is I look at her and I'm just like, you're so hungry. <laughs> look at your abs. Oh God, you're starving. It's like, what's his name in Fight Club? Like as hot as he is, it like pains me to look at him because, oh no, you know he was so hungry. So probably gonna do that. Gonna have to modify a couple things. I think she has a plank move in there. I will not be doing that because my core is wrecked. Three kids was too many for my core. What happened was this pregnancy, this last one, I was incredibly fatigued even more than my other two. And I basically did not work out, well, really pretty much the whole time. I did some during the first trimester, but I was so nauseous and dizzy. I didn't do a whole lot. And then in the second, the nausea and dizziness mostly went away. But pretty quickly into that, I just got so, so, so fatigued. And that lasts the entire time. And then I got more pain, pelvic pain and all of that. So I basically did nothing. I would try, you know, every month or so like okay I'm gonna try to start working out again and I would take like three naps that day instead of one or two lost any core strength I had I started working out after having kids six weeks or so after I did wait and started doing like specifically postpartum stuff working my way up and I did that for a few weeks and it was boring. And so then I just started doing regular workouts. I was not ready. So good news, I have diastasis recti, diastasis recti. So I am doing what I can to try and repair that. And I've been doing that for coming up on six weeks now. And I'm gonna do a check in a few days to see if there's any change, because I was at eh, about three centimeter uh, gap, not super deep. We'll see what happens. If I can't do it myself, I'll go to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll go to a uh, physical therapist. Hopefully I can find one that specializes in pelvic stuff and postpartum stuff. Maybe if I had kept up um, training, doing safe core stuff, that's another thing. So this was really funny. This was very soon after I did the uh, diastasis recti video talking about just the evidence and that there really isn't evidence that crunches are bad. It just depends on whether or not you can do moves without sort of, you know, doming. And if you can't, right, if you do a crunch and you see lots of coning or doming, then yeah, stop doing that. But uh, yeah, pretty much soon after I posted that, I felt so weak. Just even trying to do like planks on my knees, it felt like I could not hold my core in. And so that made me very like, nervous and instead of just pushing back and doing really really easy simple stuff like knee marches on your back stuff like that I just went I'm not gonna do anything because I'm scared <laughs> so not only did I just stop working out but I stopped doing any sort of core um strengthening moves at all so yeah that probably possibly didn't help uh, again it could just be three kids three kids was just doesn't matter what I did or didn't do three kids there's gonna be some damage so yeah I look like I'm pregnant all the time <laughs> great but yeah it is actually something you can repair it's not you know uh alternative medicine shit like you can uh, cure cancer with celery juice or some shit like that you can you can um bring the, gl the gap closer together because there is always a gap there right Di diastasis recti is just a wider gap but anyway very very common lots of women have it i i wouldn't even have really worried about it because often it seems to go away on its own but i am 10 months postpartum now and it has not. In fact, I probably just made it worse with uh, just being stupid and impatient. But anyway, oh, and it sucks too because Kathy, man, the new Kathy comes to me this Saturday 
have the shipping, the tracking and everything. It's going to be here Saturday and I can't do shit with it. All I can do is watch it. I'm so sad. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. But uh, fuck. it's so funny getting DVDs. Who sells DVDs? Kathy. I've given that woman so much money. I'm trying to think of like, like uh, not institutions, companies that have given the most money to. It's like Kroger and Kathy Freaker. <laughs> oh, I have something fun to show you. But yeah, I'm gonna do that workout and then take a shower, get some breakfast. Don't know what I'm gonna have yet. Yeah, because I don't have any bananas. Shoot, I have bananas, but they're not frozen. And I don't like smoothies without frozen bananas. Even if you put ice with like fresh banana, it just, it doesn't taste the same. But yeah, have breakfast and then get to work. The cool thing I wanna show you. Okay, it's probably not gonna be that cool to most of you. It's video game shit. My brother sent this for the kids, this Nintendo Lab thing that came out years ago. I didn't even know about it. I guess I just, I don't know, I missed it. But yeah, there's, this is cardboard and you make it, you put it together and then you've got like a steering wheel and a pedal and that's like a submarine thingy and a joystick for playing. Here is what we made so far. Look at that. Look at that. Here's the key. So you put the um, the Joy-Con in here and then put that in. And I honestly do not even know how it works. I think there's like this little sensor right at the bottom of the, um, the Joy-Con. And I don't know if you can see and you can kind of see there's some um this kind of sticker that they have you put in and you can see it goes right there so the i i guess maybe that's what the little the little camera thing what is it ir camera is looking at and that's what helps it know things i don't know so yeah you can turn the wheel all the way you've got these little dealies here and they do some cool stuff this is reverse right here and then this one, um, you can fuel up at a station. And then if you turn these, you can change what the arm does. There's like bombs and all sorts of shit. And the same on this one. And then this is the pedal. The left Joy-Con goes right in here. It was so much fun making these. Six-year-old helped a bit, but it was mostly me. And I love it. I love things like this. Just following directions and creasing the cardboard and popping it. Oh my God, it was so much fun. I love it. I can't wait to do the other one. My partner was like, I could not do this. That It just looks, it's mind numbing and having to follow the directions instead of just doing it how I think it's supposed to go. It's like, no, the fun part is the directions is the step-by-step. -step. Oh, it's great. Have I talked about my new favorite apple? I don't think I have. It's the Envy apple. Have you guys tried this? It's not super new. It's been out for several months now but I didn't try it. I guess I tried it a few months ago and it was out before that. Yeah, they were on sale, so I was like, eh, whatever. Probably won't be good. <gasps> They're delicious. They're sweet, but also just the right amount of tartness. They could be a little more tart, I guess. They're, they're less tart than like a pink lady. They're close to a Fuji, I would say, in terms of sweetness. They're juicy, they're crisp, but not too crisp, <laughs> which is a weird thing to say, but like honey crisp is like weirdly crisp. To me, I don't know. I don't like them. I don't like the taste of those. But uh, yeah, so really delicious in taste and they don't brown super fast. You can actually leave the slices out for much longer than regular apples and they don't brown. <gasps> How cool is that? Oh, and they're consistent. I have not had one that wasn't good. They are very consistent. They're not like red delicious. Sometimes are actually delicious. Sometimes are mealy and the worst. So yeah, new apple. Always exciting news. So I ended up having oatmeal for breakfast, my go-to oatmeal as of late, just oats and soy milk, a little vanilla, a little salt, a lot of cinnamon, some brown sugar, I actually used the Swerve alternative sweetener brown sugar, flax, about a tablespoon or so of ground flax, sliced banana on top, some walnuts, and some crunchy peanut butter. And then I did not eat again until like four? Was it that late? I was just working the whole time. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes oatmeal does that for me. It just fills me up so much. I will not eat for hours. And then sometimes I'm hungry like an hour later. I don't know. So eventually I had an apple, one of those Envy apples. They really are so good. You need to try them. They're so good. And it's so cool that they don't brown so quickly. We found that out because, you know, my kids, they cannot eat a whole apple to save their life. They just can't do it. I gave one of them half of one and then the other half I just turned over, you know, cut side down on the cutting board. And I came back 
like a long time later and flipped it over and it was not brown. And then I noticed when I'd given them slices and it had been like an hour, apple slices, and they were barely brown. And then partner looked it up and uh, yeah, one of the features of the Envy Apple. But anyway, I'm done <laughs> talking about apples. It's just apples, not even close to the best fruit. Oh, this is so good. This Dragon Bowl. I don't know why, but a few weeks ago, I just Dragon Bowls popped into my head and I needed one. I used to get a really delicious one back in Memphis from this restaurant that had a few vegan things. They had a yummy vegan burger. And then they also had this Dragon Bowl that I really loved. And yeah, so I made this recipe using soy curls, which we have a bunch of because we buy in bulk 12 pounds or something of soy curls. And we have these big plastic containers specifically for soy curls. I mean, but yeah, so with the curls, rehydrate them with vegetable broth, mix them up with a marinade and a crap ton of cornstarch. I think it's like two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Put them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and they come out super, super crunchy, like almost this is like too crunchy. This is weird, but you're going to mix it with a, a sauce, right? And all the veggies and stuff. So once it's mixed with the sauce, it's obviously not as crunchy, but it's like the perfect chewy, slightly crunchy texture. Oh my gosh, it is so so good. So I made that. Couple little differences. I added some broccoli to it. I didn't use the two dried chilies because we don't have those. The first time I made this, I used a lot of red chili flakes and it was, it was a little too spicy. This time I only used a little bit and it could have been spicier, honestly. So I need to find the perfect balance for me. But uh, yeah, really yummy. Had that over some white rice. And then for dinner, had another ricey thing. I just made some rice and beans with some black beans I had cooked in the slow cooker. Usually when I cook beans in the slow cooker, I'll do one to two pounds. If I do two pounds, it's one tablespoon of water. No, please don't try to cook beans with one tablespoon of water in a slow cooker. One tablespoon of salt with water to cover like by a couple inches or so and two bay leaves. And that will last not even a week. We go through a lot of beans. But yeah, so use black beans and rice and some bell pepper and some tomato and, you know, your typical chili powder, oregano, cumin, coriander, those types of spices. Oh, so good. Oh, and avocado, of course. And then around nine or so, I had a bowl of cereal, the Kashi chocolate go cereal. I don't eat this often. Partner eats it a lot. It's like his favorite cereal. He has it almost every day. And of course, the one time I decide to have a bowl, it's the last that we have of it. I finished the box, but I just assumed there was more and there was not. And I felt very bad for like two seconds. And then we had some popcorn, popcorn with nutritional yeast. So delicious. We ate some of that while we watched uh, the last episode of the season for Bob's burgers. Partner was saying it seems like they've gotten more sentimental <laughs> as the show has gone on. And yeah, I think so in the last, particularly this last season, but really I think for the last two or three seasons, maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, they've definitely had a lot of sweet episodes this season and um, I don't hate it. So that was my day. I feel like I didn't turn something on. I have the camera on. I can see the audio is recording. I can see it moving out of the corner of my eye. I'm going to look just in case it's moving. What, why do I, what did I do? Thank you so much for being here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are having a nice day. I hope you're enjoying the warm weather. I am not. It's too hot. I don't like it. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me. Thank you so much to all my patrons at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. I do post two exclusive videos there a month for $5 plus patrons, including one controversial video that I do every month on some sort of controversial topic that is unrelated to veganism, something I wouldn't really post to the main channel. Not that I haven't posted unrelated to veganism stuff on the channel before. You get what I mean. And I just posted the May one on there. So that is exciting. Thanks again, guys. New video soon.